I shall design a half wave dipole today. At the beginning, I shall show you the design process. After that, I shall define a port for the antenna. Now, let's have a look at the physical structure of a half wave dipole. It consists of two metal conductors and it is fed at the center by any balanced transmission line, such as ladder line. Before starting the design in CST, you need to know five parameters of the antenna. And this figure is showing these five parameters. It is called a half-wave dipole because the length of the dipole is almost half of the wavelength. 0.475 times the wavelength if you speak precisely. The antenna resonates exactly at that length. Now let's do a few calculations. If you take the resonance frequency as 2 GHz, we can find out the corresponding wavelength. The rest of the three parameters can be found using the equations in the blue boxes. Once we figure out the corresponding values of the necessary parameters, we'll be ready to launch CST Microwave Studio. So let's now launch it. Start the application. Select antenna where, since half-wave dipole is a wire type antenna. Right at the beginning, we need to define the necessary parameters for any structure. I have already shown five required parameters for half-wave dipole design. So we have to create five new parameters in the parameter list window. F for resonance frequency is 2 GHz, WV for wavelength it's 147.78 mm and L for the length of the dipole it's 70.44 mm and R for the radius of the wear it's 0.1477 mm and G for the fitting gap it's 0.3522 mm that's it these are the five parameters now quickly check the unit settings in order to avoid any dimensional error make sure the frequency is in gigahertz and the dimension is in millimeter Alright, we shall now construct the geometric structure of the half-wave dipole. Activate the local coordinate system. We need to construct two cylinders that will represent the two wires of the dipole. We also need to keep a gap in between these two cylinders, which is the feeding gap G. Select cylinder from toolbar and press escape key let's name it cylinder 1 the orientation is the axis of the cylinder which is W axis the outer radius should be equal to the radius of the wire element R and the height of the cylinder shall be the half of the dipole that is L by 2 and select copper from material library press ok now we have just made one of the wires on the dipole now before creating another cylinder we have to move the local coordinate system to insert the fading gap between the two cylinders so go to WCS and then move local coordinates. We are going to move the coordinate system along negative W axis. So we specify minus G in DW field and press OK. Now we shall create the second cylinder. Select cylinder and press escape key. Name is cylinder 2 the outer radius remains equal to R 
and since the height of this cylinder is along negative w axis give a value of negative l by 2 in w minimum field and the material will remain copper press ok to complete the cylinder alright that was a very simple structure now we have to define a port for the dipole antenna but before defining port we need to construct a vacuum rectangular sheet which will join the faces of each cylinder zoom the structure so that the faces of the cylinder becomes visible you can find out the zoom tools from the toolbars and now select brick and press escape key name it gap and specify the coordinates the length of the vacuum sheet is along u axis the v coordinates must be zero because this is a sheet which has zero thickness and the width of the sheet is equal to the feeding gap g now make sure the material is vacuum and then press ok to finish this is our rectangular vacuum sheet as you can see the two arms of the rectangular sheet touch the faces of the both cylinders now go to objects menu and then select peak and then peak age select both of the edges one at a time now I'm selecting the second edge after that go to solve menu and select discrete ports theoretically at resonance the input impedance of the half-wave dipole is purely resistive and its value is 73 ohm therefore the impedance value should be 73 ohm now press OK to finish the port settings. That's it. We have just designed a half-wave dipole antenna. These antennas are the simplest practical antennas. The antenna on the top of your television set is a dipole antenna. And it is well known as rabbit ear antenna. You can easily vary the length and the angle separation of the rabbit ear and I'm sure all of you have experience adjusting the length or the angle of the rabbit ear for better picture reception in your TV. As I already mentioned, the dipole antenna is usually fed by a balanced transmission line such as ladder line. Now you can go and check your TV antenna. You'll see the ladder line used with it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.